Hurricane Week here at the Weather Channel. And you may recognize this jacket since we've used ones like it during decades of hurricane coverage. We polled our most experienced meteorologists and came up with a list of five things you definitely don't want to do during a hurricane. Taping your windows is a myth so wide-reaching almost everyone has done it, or at least heard about it. In reality, putting tape on your windows does not keep them from breaking, does not keep them together if they do break, and bottom line, does not keep you safer. We've all seen photos of boats that have been tossed around and wrecked during hurricanes, so it seems like common sense to tie your boat down as tight as possible so it won't break loose in the storm. Trouble is, when the water level rises and your boat is tied to a stationary object, the boat is going to stay down as the waves come up and sinking is entirely possible. Using spring lines allows your boat to rise as the water does. After a storm passes, it's natural to want to go out and take a look at your property and survey the damage. But even if the power in your home is out, there could be live wires in your neighborhood putting a charge through the standing water. Sadly, electrocutions after a hurricane are all too common. So this one is easy. If you see any wires down, assume they're live. Don't go near them or near any water nearby. Evacuation orders are not given out lightly. Scientists and state and local officials have planned well in advance of a storm and understand the conditions under which you need to stay or go. Many storm-related deaths occur when people make the decision to, quote, ride this one out. You need to heed the warnings, and when they say evacuate, do it. Historically, the eye has confused people believing it was the end of the storm. When the eye passes, the winds on the backside of the storm will increase very rapidly, and if you're caught too far from your shelter, you could be in big trouble. Stay close by and don't get caught by the extreme backside winds. I'm Matt Sampson, The Weather Channel.